Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to show you everything we know about camos in Modern Warfare 3. Alright, so Call of Duty just dropped a blog post with tons of juicy new information about all the different multiplayer and zombies camos, including new ways to earn them. Jumping right into it, they are keeping a similar system to how we unlocked camos in Modern Warfare 2, but with a few tweaks. This means that most guns will have 4 base camo challenges, and completing each of those camos will unlock a challenge for the gold equivalent. Completing all golds in a weapon class will unlock the challenge for the platinum equivalent. Completing all platinums will unlock the challenge for the polyatomic equivalent. And completing all polyatomics will automatically unlock the Orion equivalent. I said the equivalent for those because there are three new camo grinds that all have different mastery camos. These are the Modern Warfare 3 guns in multiplayer and both Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 guns in zombies. It is worth noting that melee and launchers only have one base camo before unlocking the gold challenge equivalent. There will also be new ways to get camos, such as completing weekly challenges and the new armory challenges that I'll go over later. For both multiplayer and zombies, there are different camo grinds for the Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 guns. If you already have MW2 camos, then they will carry forward to this game and can be put on Modern Warfare 3 guns. This only applies to the base camos. The MW2 mastery camos will not be available on MW3 guns. Unfortunately, MW3 camos can only be put on MW3 guns, so you won't be able to see any of these new camos on the old MW2 guns. Okay, with that clarification out of the way, here are all the mastery camos for multiplayer. Modern Warfare 2 guns will continue to have Gold, Platinum, Polyatomic, and Orion with their existing challenges. Modern Warfare 3 camos will have new challenges, and the camos will be Gilded, Forged, Priceless, and Interstellar. The base camo challenges for Modern Warfare 3 guns are going to be the same across each weapon class, and each class will be more in tune with the playstyle that fits that class. Even though we don't know these challenges yet, this means that guns like pistols and shotguns likely won't need stuff like mounted kills and will instead be more in tune with a close quarters playstyle. So all assault rifles will have the same challenges, all submachine guns will have their own challenges, and so forth. Once you complete all base challenges for a gun, you will unlock the challenge for the gilded camo. The gilded challenges are going to be different from gun to gun and are tailored for that gun specifically. So for example, the MCW gilded challenge is to get 3 kills with a single mag 10 times. When you complete the gilded challenge for all guns in a single weapon class, you will unlock the forged challenge for those guns. These are also going to be tailored to the gun specifically. The challenge for the MCW is to get 3 kills without dying 10 times. Once you complete all 37 forged challenges, you will unlock the priceless challenge for those guns. This is also going to be tailored to each gun. The challenge for the MCW is to get 5 kills without dying 10 times. And once you complete 37 priceless camos, you will automatically unlock the interstellar camo for all those guns. If you wanted to go above and beyond, they are carrying over the mastery challenges from Modern Warfare 2 to get some extra calling cards and weapon charms. Getting 100 kills with the gilded camo equipped, 200 with forged, 300 with priceless, and 400 with interstellar will each get you a calling card related to that weapon. And completing all of those challenges will give you a completionist weapon charm. And now, on to zombies. First up is the Modern Warfare 2 weapon camos. Just like multiplayer, there will be 4 base camo challenges for each gun, with the exception of melee and launchers. Completing all of those challenges will unlock the Golden Ivory camo challenge, which will usually be to get a certain amount of kills and extract in a single deployment. This is where things get weird. To unlock the Spinal Husk challenge, you need to complete all gold camo challenges, which will need to be done in multiplayer. The Spinal Husk camo challenges will usually be killing zombies while pack-a-punched. There's a similar thing with the Arachnida camo, where you need to complete 51 platinum camos in multiplayer in order to unlock the challenge. The Arachnida challenge will usually be kill special or elite zombies with that weapon. And finally, to unlock the Bioluminescent camo, you need to complete a total of 32 Arachnida challenges, which is a weird number. Now for the Zombies camos for Modern Warfare 3 weapons. Completing the 4 base weapon challenges will unlock the Golden Enigma camo challenge, which will also usually be getting a certain amount of kills and extracting in a single deployment. Thankfully, things go back to normal from here. To unlock the Zircon Scale challenge, you need to complete all Golden Enigma challenges for that weapon class. The Zircon Scale Challenge will usually be to get kills while pack-a-punched. To unlock the Serpentine Knight Challenge, you need to complete all 37 Zircon Scale Challenges. The Serpentine Knight Challenge will usually be killing special or elite zombies. And finally, to unlock the Borealis Camo, you need to complete all 37 Serpentine Knight Camos. 
If you wanted to go above and beyond, there are also mastery challenges for the zombies camos. Getting 300 kills with Golden Ivory or Golden Enigma camo equipped, 600 with Spinal Husk or Zircon Scale, 900 with Arachnida or Serpentinite, and 1200 with Bioluminescent or Borealis will each get you a calling card related to that weapon. And completing all of those respective challenges will get you a completionist weapon charm. If that wasn't enough, there are also camos that you can earn from weekly challenges and armory challenges. So each week there will be a total of 7 weekly challenges available for both multiplayer and zombies. Completing any 5 of those will unlock that week's special reward, which can be attachments like aftermarket parts or even weapons. And completing 5 of those challenges for every week in a season will get you a cosmetic reward like a camo. It looks like these challenges will continue to exist, so if you miss a week then you will be able to catch up and complete those challenges at a later time. And finally, there is a new system being added to Modern Warfare 3 called Armory Challenges. These challenges become available when you hit level 25 and let you unlock weapons, equipment, perks, killstreaks, attachments, and cosmetics. You can either continue to unlock them all in order by default, or you can select which challenge you want to be your current active challenge. To complete each challenge, you need to complete daily challenges. Each daily challenge will count as one point towards your current active armory unlock. If you complete all your daily challenges, you will unlock a bonus challenge that is infinitely repeatable. In multiplayer, this will be winning matches, and in zombies, this will be completing contracts. If you decide to activate a different armory challenge before completing your current one, then all your progress will be saved and you can continue it whenever you'd like. And that is everything we learned about camos from today's blog post. If you found this guide helpful, let me know by dropping a thumbs up! And feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future.